Hi guys, welcome back to Ernest Vegan Vida. So on today's video, I'm going to be making some quesa tacos de birria con consomme. So what that is, is going to be a taco filled with vegan mozzarella, some birria, some diced onions, some cilantro dipped in the broth of the birria. It's so flavorful and so delicious. I saw this trend going around last year and when I saw it, I absolutely thought I need to recreate this but veganize it. So I did that. I have previously filmed a birria video a long time ago, it was actually my second video ever uploaded and since then I have an updated method of how I work with my jackfruit so I'm going to be showcasing that today and I have showed it in plenty of other videos of mine that uses jackfruit so I'm going to show you guys how to do that and then I'm also going to be making a wajillo sauce that is stronger because I'm going to be creating more broth because we're going to need to have enough broth to be able to scoop some out and serve it alongside the tacos so it's gonna be so delicious i hope you guys absolutely love this recipe i know i did and yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye okay you guys so to get started with this recipe i'm gonna be using two cans of green jackfruit and brine from trader joe's you are more than welcome to use three cans of jackfruit or maybe even four cans if you want this birria to be meatier so today i'm gonna be showing you guys my updated method of how i prepare the jackfruit I like to pour my jackfruit into the strainer and then completely rinse off that brine. I'm not going to be removing any seeds or any of the hard parts because those pieces are going to cook and at the end they're going to add a beautiful texture and some volume to the dish and it is also less wasteful. In my first ever beating video I did take off the seeds and the hard parts but I have since then learned this new method that I have used in my pozole video and my enchilada video. So I'm going to be filling up a pot with water and setting the jackfruit to boil for one hour. This is going to help remove the brine and after that one hour is over I'm gonna be rinsing the jackfruit off once again I know this process may seem a little tedious but I promise you it is 100% worth it and for even traditional birria it is a time-consuming dish so I guess this vegan version is time-consuming as well so I'm gonna refill the pot with water for one more hour so while the jackfruit is gonna be cooking for that remaining hour I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it but also get started on the other birria ingredients so I'm going to get started by making the chili for the birria. Today I am using 7 wajillo chilies and 1 pasilla chili. I find this adds a nice smoky and sweet touch to it. So I'm going to be taking off the stems and then de-seeding all the chilies, ripping out that little vein and that'll help extract all the seeds from the chilies. Okay, so I'm going to be placing this into a tiny little pot with some water and boiling them until soft. Once they have softened, I'm going to be placing them into my Ninja Blender alongside half a cup of the cooking liquid that we cook the chilies in, 5 raw garlic cloves, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of some crushed bay leaves or one whole bay leaf, and also adding one third cup of white vinegar. Okay, so now I'm popping that lid right on and I'm going to be blending this until completely smooth. I pureed it for roughly two minutes. This depends on the blender that you own. Okay guys, so now that the chili is all done, I'm going to be setting it aside for later usage and now I'm going to get back to working on the jackfruit. As you can see right there when I'm pouring out the jackfruit, the liquid is quite brown and a slight pinkish color. That is all the brine getting cooked out and that is what we are looking for here. Now that the jackfruit is all done after those two hours, it is super soft to the touch and I'm going to be roughly shredding it because I like the birria to be shredded but also have some chunky pieces because it tastes really good in the tacos and I absolutely love my birria to be chunky but also have some shredded spots. So this part is a little annoying. Um, this is my least favorite part of this whole method. What we're going to do here is remove any liquid it has because we want it to become completely dry so it is able to absorb the new flavors. Although this step does require a little bit of effort, I highly recommend squeezing out as much liquid as you can. And once you are done, it should look a little bit like this. It becomes really dry jackfruit and it is the perfect ingredient for this birria. Okay, so next up on a pan on medium heat, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of olive oil and the jackfruit that I just shredded and dried. Now I'm going to be 
browning that for a little bit for around maybe five minutes then i'm going to be adding four cups of vegetable broth because since this is jackfruit it's not going to release a meat broth as traditional meat would so we're going to be adding some flavor by adding veggie broth next up i'm going to be straining in my guajillo sauce you want this to be as smooth as possible so i highly recommend straining your sauce Next step, I'm going to be adding 2 tablespoons of Maggi seasoning sauce. You can find this in the Hispanic section or in a Mexican store. I highly recommend this because it changes the color of the birria to give it a more brown color that traditional birria has. Definitely recommend this um, ingredient. And next up, I'm going to be adding 1 tablespoon of some pink salt. If you don't have any of the Maggi seasoning, you can just add more salt. And once I stir that all in, I'm going to be adding 4 cups of some water because like I mentioned, this is going to be a very brothy birria and this is what it's looking like so far. And lastly, I'm going to be adding half an onion that I'm going to be fishing out later. This adds a nice sweetness and touch to this birria that I absolutely love. Now I'm going to be putting a lid on the birria, bringing it to a boil and then simmering it for 45 minutes to roughly an hour. This is really going to help develop all those delicious flavors. In the meantime, I'm going to be preparing the chili that I grew up eating for this birria. Starting off with 25 toasted chili de arbol, half a cup of water, one teaspoon of pink salt, and one raw garlic clove. So what I'm going to do is just puree this for two minutes until completely smooth. This is a type of chili my mom always made when she made birria. This chili is the same type of chili that I made for my pozole, but this one's slightly less spicy because it has 10 less chilies, but it is still super spicy. A little bit goes a long way, so that's why it's such a small serving. I promise this chili goes perfect with birria, but if you are not that tolerant with spice, you can definitely make a fresh tomatillo salsa that would be just as perfect with these tacos. After one hour of simmering, I'm going to fish out that onion and this is the finished product of the birria. It's developed such a beautiful color and flavor and now it is pretty much ready to serve. But like I said, we are making quesa taco today. And I'm going to be making some homemade tortillas. As you can see right there, I'm making some homemade tortillas on my comal but you are more than welcome to use some store-bought tortillas i just happen to have masa in my house right now during quarantine i actually didn't even have store-bought tortillas so i did prepare a handful of tortillas and i'm setting them aside in a tortilla warmer if you're using store-bought you can also set them aside in a tortilla warmer so for this next step store-bought or not you're going to be dipping the tortillas into that delicious birria broth and this is going to add so much flavor to the quesa tacos and i'm going to be adding some bio life mozzarella shreds you are more than welcome to add any vegan mozzarella shreds that you love Make sure you have this on low heat while you're preparing the tacos because you don't want it to burn. So now I'm going to be adding some of that birria and off camera I did dice up some onions and chopped up some cilantro. And I'm adding that as well because that will really make the taco come together. So now you're going to be folding this like a quesadilla and simply put this on high now and it is a very chunky filled taco as you can see right there and just keep an eye on it and I like to also pour more liquid from the birria broth because it adds more redness more flavor and makes it so delicious and now i'm carefully gonna flip this so it could get melty on both sides and there you guys have it so you're simply gonna be repeat this exact same step for as many tacos as you want And look at how beautiful these tacos came out that cheese turned out to be so melty if you do not have mozzarella cheese you are more than welcome to just make these without any cheese they come out just as delicious and like i said we are dipping them into some broth so i scooped out some broth with a ladle and now i'm topping it with some cilantro and some onion and now it's perfect for dipping so I'm going to take some of that chile that I made earlier and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to put some in every taco and serve this with some limon and some broth for dipping. This dish is honestly so delicious and absolutely one of my favorite recipes of all time. It is super cheap to make, super decadent and it reminds me of 
eating birria growing up and i hope you guys recreate this dish if you do please tag me on instagram please dm me whatever leave a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this recipe bye